Okay, man. Okay, man. I thought I'd make you a video after the detail and touch up today. So just start kind of with the side. Um, yeah, man. Washed it down. Look at that thing shine. And I used black Sharpie um, for these spots. Like the videos, you can't even really pick it up. But just some black Sharpie to get all of the dings in the black. Um, I'm going to get some different colors for the blue or maybe have my brother help me like with that because he, he's the artist. I'm not the artist, but so there's the one side. So the front is just absolutely amazing. It was amazing yesterday, but man, I got that all cleaned up. Used like, um, like because we have all of our favorite Mustang parts. Use this stuff. I've used this stuff as safe for like all plastics that don't fade like armor all. Um, so I've tried that on a lot of different stuff, vintage, old plastic and stuff. So I knew I'd probably be safe for this, man. It's so smooth. So I got in all the corners, got all the dust, all the dust, dirt, speaker. There is like a dent like right here, but that's okay. Um, just had to Sharpie some stuff there. Check it out. Got the locks put in that you gave me. Um, coin mechs are actually showing quite a bit of corrosion. I wouldn't say quite a bit, but there's some corrosion there. This one was bent and it's still bent, but I got it kind of unbent a little. Um, and check it out, man. Got a switch put in. Ah, I just used a stainless steel washer so it wouldn't rust anything. Just kind of pinched it up on that plate. Um, so the switch is in, the keys are in. This side here must have been up against the wall. Well, the only big problem is like here, there's like a little here, but this side is phenomenal. Oop, I see a spot. Okay, this is a live action fix. All right, let's see if we can see this big fat. I'm just kind of, I like this to kind of dab it in. Just kind of dab it in. It's got to help. I mean, if anything, so you can't even really kind of see now. All right. Um, that side is beautiful. And I think you're going to like this. I wish I wish you could see it better. Um, man, but got all the inside really, really well. Most of the components, all the wood. Um, just wiped it all out. I would love, I just don't have time right now, but I'd love to get that power supply out and like give him like, 100% clean over that'll happen someday so made like the little wire braid from the Empire Strikes Back kit I hate these but whatever um, made a little cable goes up there to the switch you kind of see it just pinches on there so yeah um, boards are a little dusty dirty but that's okay whatever um, oh so when I got home um, this guy did slide out and he was on the bottom, um, but I stuck a screw. He had a screw in there, but um, I put a screw back in so that never happens again. So yeah, um, the switch works, I can power it off. Yeah, let's do it, all right, all right. So we power it off, uh, I'll just reach in through, hit the switch, hit the power. So another weird thing, like this morning, this morning, um, when I fired it up, it would only play Return of the Jedi, which I thought was like really weird. But I pulled the board out, nothing was like shorting. He could destroy us. He could destroy. May the force be with you. So I think we're, yeah. Yep, so now we're on Empire Strikes Back. There's a meteorite, it's brown here. Shoot, I hope that sends, it's getting pretty long. Yeah, it looks good. Nice and shiny, ooh, look at that shine. Yes. Ah. Uh.